Hello, action. All right. All right. Hello, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last stop of the Calvin Tahan Farewell Tour, <laughs> the yeah. ARG 25K and Players' Championship. The latter is right now. You're seeing this live. Two of the th 32 best players in the world, myself included, but not currently pictured, <laughs> are playing in a double elimination tournament to determine who will become the ARG Players' Champion of the Year. As we all know, Konami events don't count, so this is the most prestigious prize you can possibly win. Sure, sure, sure. I'm joined with Ryan Levine, who's also want to jump. Hello. Okay, so um, jumping right into the match, you know, um, we'll have plenty of time to talk about yourself, ourselves later. Um, in my winning deck profile, you'll he hear more about me. But as for right now, I have a buy round one, and we're do I? delving into the matchup. Uh, Chris opened the nuts. This is pretty much over. Um, I'm not going to say the nuts, because he didn't have return to set up. Oh, oh, he didn't oh, have return. He might, he might have. The, the man drew two off Kiraz for free. Yeah. Has a, <laughs> has Did he drop two? I think he only drew one. Oh, okay, sure. He has prime um, engrave. I mean, it's definitely it's a good over. Hand. It's yeah. <laughs> okay. You literally like, can't come back from All that. All right. Um, if he doesn't have aether, uh, Ben. Can I mean, he's gonna get. I mean, Ben can definitely. I mean, if it's Ben like tributes the cur the thing, so basically the only I don't know if Ben's is, is it Monarch Mirror. I don't know. Okay, because like if it is, the only way Ben can win is, is by ben shuffling the Aether the into the deck, well, I don't which think, I, don't I don't think he would think, do that. I don't that. think Chris has an Aether. No, 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 I mean, the not the Aether, the man on the field currently. The Erebus? Yeah, because that's his only monarch. There's no way to get more. So he can recycle yeah, the current one, but if it leaves to the deck, that's the only way he's going to um, win. I agree. Um, but so uh, Chris is really, it looks like he's really struggling um, yeah. to reveal off Pantheism. Oh, that was good. See, look, the, yeah. jo the Johnny Lee trick. Hey. It didn't well, work. Wow. Well, did. What a surprise. <laughs> it didn't work. You're right. Yep. <laughs> Who would have thought? Uh, wait. Oh, never mind. Maybe it did work. Ben is, ben oh. is having some second thought. <laughs> Chris is smiling. Ben doesn't want to get Hollywooded here. <laughs> I'm not trying to get Hollywood. He's not trying to get Hollywooded. I wish Ben could just do the math. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so it's interesting because... Um, if Chris has another copy of Erebus in his hand, then giving him Escalation would so be, listen, can I, can would I be talk? disastrous. Cause, cause I'm, sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay, okay. I'm going to skip a step. If Chris wanted Escalation, he would have chose Tenacity. Tenacity you're right, you're and right, got right. it. Yes. So we know you're he doesn't correct. have a Monarch. Yes. So you're, like, right, you're supposed to give him that, yes. and you didn't. I don't. And yes. so <laughs> uh, you lost. You're right. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Um, so now Chris got Pantheism. And, and he's going to draw a Monarch for free. He doesn't have any more Monarchs in his hand, so he's going to discard Stormfort, draw two. Try to draw Aether so he can play. Yeah, so we can play. Even though um, he already, yeah, it's, it's over. It's over, it's over. I think he he wants, he wants. Did he draw two Erebus? I think so. Is that what and he's, he should set Brilliant here, unless so he plays a second thing, which I don't think he does. Just yeah. just to make sure he has to play around Stormforth. That's true. Or play around or play around Escalation, whatever, yeah. just something. But I don't think he does. Um, I guess he wants to have less targets for Erebus. For what? For when he gets sniped by an Erebus. Oh, when he gets Erebus. Even though well, there's nothing in his hand he could lose, because he already has two of everything he needs. If Ben summons Erebus, if Ben is playing Monarch, which I'm not sure, I think he is. I believe he played it at... at the WCQ just a few weeks ago. Okay. I believe he played Monarch. Okay, yeah, yeah, he's probably pl yeah. playing Monarchs. Um, if he Erebus is here, I don't think you go for one in the hand. Uh, rather, you don't go for one in his hand. You go for you, either you something in his graveyard or you hit the Erebus on the field. Okay, so he's playing Monarch. I feel like he doesn't have um, a way to make Erebus that doesn't involve Stormforthing the current one, though. No. Then you Erebus something in the graveyard. Maybe the Pantheism in the grave because... Oh, Pantheism. Uh, okay, yeah. Because hitting the hand doesn't do anything. You want to you uh, yeah, get the game state to Chris a place where you control Chris it with what you has already shown that his hand was fairly weak based on his opening play. Er, not weak, but like it, yeah. it might not have many follow-ups. Um, so hitting a random card from his hand uh, will probably not Jesus. get you as far as he opened the absolute hitting... Nuts. As, as choosing a card from their graveyard, like Pantheism or Prime. Yeah. Um, or if you just shovel back the Erebus on the field, if if that's what, what you can do. But, um, so here, despite I, such a strong opening from Chris, Ben not only has infinite tribute fodder, but also okay, well, a I'm dark I'm going to argue here grave. about this such a strong opening. Like, when you don't end with Aether, your hope your hand wasn't that good. Well, when you can play, like, you win. <laughs> you lose I mean, Summon the Monarch for really free playing. and play. <laughs> and his opponent really playing. <laughs> if, I, if I were burning this player right now, I'd have no way to beat Chris. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just couldn't win. Well, perhaps. And uh, yet here perhaps. we are. I'm not sure why Chris had to read Eidos. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I'm not really sure what he was trying to figure out there, but... Um, uh, I mean... I, as a player, I'm always thankful when Chris is reading cards. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, so I'm not sure what the rest of Ben's hand is, but if he has a Monarch, yeah, that he does. then he's in good shape. And he has the and Black Eye in Grave, either. so he has infinite and fodder, which is something grave. Chris doesn't have. Yeah. He's, yeah uh, it's he's uh, over. 
Yeah, he's going to get a lot out of this. He's going to get infinite because um, he's going to better spam the Ben is in a, He's going to add back the... Uh, yeah, he's going to do that. Ben is in a very good position. Yeah. It's actually he's over. Gonna, he can't win. Okay, so Ben actually did what you keep saying Chris did, which is yeah. like he opened pretty well. Like he, he gets to summon... Aether, uh, he got Brilliant Fusion. Uh, he has um, Aether. And he, get, and he gets the Aether back in his hand, so he gets to set up Storm for the Aether next turn. And he'll have a rank 5 coming in. He'll have a rank 5 next turn. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Well, on, Chris his, on, have his, on his next turn, he'll actually, Chris have does. a rank 5. Chris can have a rank 5, um, too. Yeah, is he? He might. Okay, he didn't. He, he didn't, didn't attack because he didn't want yeah, it. Yeah, he, he realized his hand was weak because he thought he didn't have any money. Yeah, because yeah. it would allow uh, Chris to get the Erebus back from his graveyard, which if Chris does not have any more. Chris, oh, okay, right, okay he's revealing. Concede, All right, concede. nice. Yeah. <laughs> I believe he just drew the Garnet for turn. He did. He did. <laughs> so you're supposed to concede uh, when that happens. It's just over. You're supposed to concede when, when that happens. I mean, he's, I mean, he's playing two Garnets. Like you're, you've lost. I mean, like okay, he's our. Well, he didn't draw two Garnets. He's playing he's two. one already. He's playing two. Yeah, I understand that. Okay. Why would you ever? Is, is it correct to play two ever? Two Garnet? Wouldn't you at least yeah. play one Garnet, one Lizuli, just to add back the first Garnet? Uh, and plus? I, I a don't. Serious question. I've had this discussion with someone, and I'm not going to entertain that notion right now. I don't remember what, what decision we ended up making, but I think <laughs> we ended up saying no, but I don't remember exactly. Because um, getting back Garnet, you just get to look at it in your hand and do nothing <laughs> with it, and it just makes you sad. So... <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. It's one less uh, Erebus target for them. So, uh, Chris also drew... And when it's in your hand, it's definitely better, because then you, you can make the rank 4 guy and shovel it back in your hand and play another Brilliant. It's oh, way maybe. better. You have three Brilliant yeah, fusions, maybe. you can play all three. <laughs> because of Durandal, maybe you're right. <laughs> you okay, can play well, all three. Chris had his second Adea. Well, I don't um, think he played three. And then three drew another, and bad. he drew another Erebus off the Pantheism last turn. So yep. he gets a second Erebus effect. Uh, he ben definitely gets to play. Ben is chaining Stormforth. Which is interesting. So here is where I think uh, the only way Chris can win he is has if to go he for the hand. goes for the hand but and has hits to the hit. Aether. He literally has to. Yeah. If he And if he hits the Aether, he might win. Um, in fact, I would say he has a pretty strong chance of winning because he just sent his second Prime Monarch with this Erebus. Yeah, he's going to come up. Oh, and, and he's ahead in the rank 5. Ben only has three cards in his hand, I believe. Yeah, so... Chris basically has a Chris is allowed to Chris be basically has turn, a 33 percent right? chance to win if yeah. he hits if he hits the aether he pretty much wins if he misses the aether I don't think he can win and I believe he hit a spell oh oh okay oh uh, just, yeah. I don't know what just happened but I believe I saw that was a spell card so I think Ben still has aether and Ben yeah and will ben probably wins. win yeah, yeah Chris just <laughs> Chris just went and banished the storm for <laughs> he, he knew he didn't hit it um oh he said like enter battle phase yeah oh maybe. Which is the right play. Which is the, let's see. Um, yeah. You can't allow it to resolve. You have yeah. to. You have you, to. Yeah, something you, to think about. Why are you see. thinking? Why Hollywood? Um, why Hollywood Arena? Why what? Why is he Hollywooding? <laughs> you literally can't play. Yeah. You literally have to. Have um, to. I don't. I'm not sure you have to though. You're not sure. So you just use Stormfort, get no value off. Because of it. no, hold on. Because if he clears your board here, you can't use it in main phase two. Yes, you can. What? What's your fodder? His his opponent's Erebus. Oh, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> okay. My bad. <laughs> Which yeah. I thought he still needed to. I forgot no. he could beat Tribute. No, you can tribute monsters. your opponent's yeah. Tribute Summon Monster. Calvin the Hon. I in the world. I knew I played this deck. I knew <laughs> knowledge that I, from the best in the world. I forgot. Okay. Um. So Chris drew all three. Okay. There you go. So Chris yeah. drew all three of his Erebuses. But and maybe he's we're gonna we're gonna see a Karaz come out. He did. He did what yes. what you said is he since he actually had Ooh. reason to use it. He actually had. Oh, uh, we're gonna he, set the young brilliant. We're gonna plus. He tenacity for uh. Nice, 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 nice. This is good. So he's he's being out here. Because we're gonna get, we're gonna see a Durand dollar. Uh, he can't go into his extra deck. He summoned a Daya this turn. A Daya? He summoned a Daya. I wasn't watching the little one. Okay, yeah, I believe that you. was the yeah. So he can't. Uh, so he set he set escalation and so he's just basically he's ahead, he's ahead in tempo here. And, um, uh, he's gonna set himself no, up. I'm for I'm gonna disagree because Ben is getting the is gonna the Aether. So Ben is gonna get the first opportunity to make a rank five, um, which because Will uh, he? we know because is, is, look, look is is he though. Uh, yeah, because he's sending two more spells now. Okay, and but one, one of them has prime. to be... Okay. I mean, he can just... He's choosing between resolving a Pantheism search or making a rank 5. Pantheism can, can just get ten tenacity, which then just puts another spell in grave. <laughs> so he's not. Okay. Um, Because Chris revealed the Garnet in his hand, Ben now knows the last two cards in his hand are Erebus and uh, Garnet, and Chris just searched for Escalation. So we know Chris only has one way to... Tributes to to interact with Ben on his turn, and that is Escalation for Erebus. So Ben can go for Pleiades. So when Escalation gets gets activated, yeah. Ben can Pleiades it back to his hand, um, and then or that is or that's an option he has. Uh, 
or he could go for Durendal to um, shuffle hands when Chris activates Escalation, but I feel like that would be, be, be a little bit weaker. So Chris's if, quote play is... So Chris, okay, Chris basically, because he, he revealed the, the Garnet, Chris basically only has one play this turn, which yes. Ben should know, which is Escalation Summon, summon Erebus. Because basically we know every card Chris has. Yeah. We know Chris has a set Brawling Fusion as a bluff, a set Escalation, uh, the Garnet, and then he has um, Erebus. So Chris only has one unknown, which I don't think is anything. Like, uh, unless it's Stormforth, e even if it is Stormforth. If it's Stormforth, um, he wouldn't have said it. If why not? Because you can go Stormforth, Escalation, Summon Erebus, and then but then you can but then you can get back a you could already Escalation the two primes, and then you can pitch the Stormforth to get a second Erebus back and use it again on uh, your first Erebus. Escalation Aerobus. can only what 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 do you mean? Oh, you can only use you the Escalation, escalation once, per once per turn. Didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. So basically, Chris's play is probably Stormforth, Escalation, distribute Ben's Aether, and then summon his own Erebus. Yeah. Um, and then interrupt the So five. if Ben goes for Pleiades to put the Escalation back in Chris's hand, mm -hmm. then... Oh, yeah. It's no, if, if, if Chris if Chris lets him get that far, he's bad. Yeah. We already know well, that. I That's think not going to happen. Well, I think it might. It, it I mean, can't. You're right. It might not happen. It, there's no um, way. You just have, you have to answer. But then in that and Ben case, summons a rank five, a level then, five year, then, he has to answer. Then Chris has to shuffle back one of Ben's primes uh, to stop yes. that from happening, really. Yes. Um... And then uh, that's Ben good. just has so much. No, but th that doesn't actually. Okay, or Ben is going to go for Erebus first. So oh, that was insane. Uh, we lost. Uh, no. What if he hits the Garnet from Chris's Okay. Hand? Well, what if he doesn't? It's fifty percent chance. It's fifty percent. Yeah, you're right. We I lost. mean, like, I agree. I'm just saying that it's a literal fifty-fifty of if he like if he hits the Erebus, he wins. It's not close. Oh, uh, if he hits the Garnet, he could actually. Hits the Garnet. It's actually game. He actually loses. If he hits the Garnet, I think he actually loses. He loses because so, it's Garnet. Yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually hilarious. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> this is crazy. I've so never seen anything like this before. I think it was definitely. And Ben, no, they're laughing. They know that they I know. I think it might have been safer to just hit the prime of the field. To no, no, you can't because you have to. No, he could try to hit the escalation. I, uh, he could try to hit, hit the escalation. That's true, which is I don't worse. I think it's worse but less risky. Okay, I think that that the Arab is here puts a lot of unnecessary risk. Like this, this game is now literally being d decided by fifty-fifty, which I think put Chris way lost. too much, which put way too much risk on that. Like, uh, I don't know that the rest of Ben's hands. I'm not sure what well, else he could have done. He lost, but that's unlucky. That was a very risky play. But if he hit Erebus, then he won like yeah. insanely he won. hard. He yeah. So, uh, did he? I don't know what it's in Chris's hand. Like, I, I it's can't, oh, it's gone. He lost. Oh, yeah, he exactly. lost. <laughs> okay, well, Ben won game one. <laughs> so. See, now I made Pleiades, and I believe he made Pleiades there, like, mm -hmm. in case he didn't hit Erebus, and yeah. Chris, like, didn't flip Escalation yet, then this just really seals the game. Yeah. Because, um... But I think you might be right that it might not have gotten that far. Like, okay, wait. Okay, well, you say you say that Chris wouldn't let it get that far. I don't think that mattered. Like, he still had a Dea Eidos. I'm not right, sure. Right, but it wasn't, like, wasn't going to be a Pleiades. At this point... Like no, no other monarchy makes could be worse than a Pleiades. Huh? What? What what do you mean? Like yes, he still had a day of Eidos. He was gonna make another monarch. Like that's already known, been so far ahead. But Chris only lost to Pleiades there. He didn't lose to another monarch. It just happened. It was like, okay, that's another sick thing I know. What I'm, next what I'm saying is that is that I think summoning the Erebus as his as his, like first action per turn put so much like, he put I I'm It was good. I'm not gonna say put the whole game as a fifty fifty, but like like he won the fifty fifty, so he wins the game. But if he didn't, if he if he lost the fifty fifty, I think he would have lost the game. Which yeah, and, and I don't think that was a risk he needed to take because he was so far ahead. Probably, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. I do. Because like I don't, I don't think, I don't think Ben was in a position of desperation at all. Doesn't matter. I, I won. Okay, <laughs> sure. Hey, Alex. Yeah, so I think that was a very risky play. Uh, it, it it paid off, so that's fine. But uh, so is pantheism a skillful card? Uh, what do you? Okay, that's a very broad question. Okay. Skillful card. So I don't. I uh, I gotta say when the format first started, and I think and and pantheism was new because even though monarchs were were released for uh, the beginning of, you know, like, the, the Brig of Shadows, like, Pendulum deck, when that was, you know, got 30 out of 32 spots of yeah. the first YCS or whatever, of the only YCS of that, of that format in North America. Then we had the adjusted list where Pendulum still won every single YCS of the entire format. Yeah. Even though Monarchs were, like, legal for play, I don't think... They were not widely played, and, like, I don't think 
monarchs were truly like like uh, a mainstay in like in, in like competition of like I will enter a tournament and expect to play multiple monarchs in yeah. this tournament until uh, the most recent list where they like ban wavering eyes yeah. and and you know all that stuff. So I think when that so pantheism, although it's been a legal card for quite a while, I don't think people were really it, it did not see nearly as much play. Um, so I think people, even some people now are still kind of like figuring out pantheism. And I think if you, if you haven't like played with the card that much and, or rather, I, I guess if you haven't played the Monarch deck for an extended period of time and you do not completely understand the meaning behind what your opponent is revealing off pantheism, it can be a little bit daunting to, to, to make a decision where, um, you know, if you've been playing Pendulum for, for months, then you're playing against Monarch, and they go Pantheism, Reveal, you know, Stormforth, Stormforth, like, Tenacity. And, like, you think, oh, it doesn't matter. Some people might think, oh, it, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Or they will not understand what will actually be better or worse for their opponent. Or in situations like we just saw, where Chris revealed Escalation, Pantheism, Pantheism. Like, I think if Ben had, had thought about it for a little bit longer, I think he would have came to, to, the, sum, to the same conclusion that yeah. you did, where if, if Chris really wanted Escalation, he would have just revealed uh, Tenacities. But because he didn't reveal Tenacity, he clearly didn't have any other Monarchs, so giving him Escalation would have been fine. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not really thinking about it, if, if you... Like, you should, you should think about what you give them off Pantheism. Compl see, okay, here. Okay. Uh, I would n I would give my opponent Stormforth every yes. single time. Yes, because if, if they, they because if, if they, they really wanted, wanted it, Stormforth, they would have gotten three. they would have just revealed three copies of Stormforth. Yes. Okay, that was very odd. I don't know why Chris revealed yes. two pantheisms. That was okay. That entire exchange was just like unnecessary. <laughs> like, I don't know yeah. why he did that because he had tenacity for the other one. That was very weird. Oh, but because because he didn't want him to know that he only had three Stormforth. Like by not revealing all by three, revealing all three in three, deck, you, mean? you could possibly have a second one. Where? Like, what do you mean? In your hand. Second one? In your hand. Well, then I then you don't want two Stormforths. Like, that's not good. Right, but 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 Ben doesn't know that. Like, Chris wants Stormforth, but like he doesn't want Ben to know that he wants Stormforth. That's why he did. I, that I, didn't matter. It's solvable. He, he was, it's solvable. Like, was, like Ben knows this. But I'm saying that's why Chris anyway. did it. Like, yes. Yes. Okay. If he didn't I mean, it, he was gonna no get matter it. what Ben gave him, his Chris hand was, was going to tenacity for the other one. So that literally anyway. So that exchange didn't matter. That just confused me because it didn't make any. Because it like. Okay. But you're wrong. It didn't make sense, but it didn't matter. Like no, I mean it wasn't wrong. It was just like it was just unnecessary. Like he could have just revealed three storm fourth and then activated tenacity and got the end result. And the end result was. But the knowledge would have been slightly different. Uh, but it wouldn't have been different. Because, okay, he, because he knew that he already had one pantheism grave, which he just used. And so by revealing two pantheism, it, it doesn't tell you. It, tell, it tells you that he doesn't have a third pantheism in hand already, sure. Which is in grave. <laughs> but, yes. But, like, by, by, by not revealing three Stormforth, he doesn't know for sure that you only sure, have one Stormforth sure, in hand. Sure, sure, But I, so we're, but in, I, but but we're in agreement that if you, if, you, if you banish for pantheism for somebody like me, or if I, or rather Ben does it for somebody like you, he will never get the card he wants. Yes. Okay. So, so it's I a think, solved card. So it's I not think skillful. He will, he will, he will get Stormforth in that scenario right there. A player that knows like how Monarchs work will give him Stormforth a hundred percent of the time. It does not matter how long Chris Chris thinks about what he's revealing. Yeah, you know Hollywood. he can he can slam a Stormforth on the table and then like think about it and then put two like tenacities. It doesn't matter. He's never getting anything but Stormforth because of how the deck works. Like yeah. you give them Stormforth because if they really wanted Stormforth, they would they would reveal three. Like that's just j j just how it works. You can you can. Very reliably, I'm not going to say 100% of the time because there are times when you'll get it wrong, but what you give them off of Pantheism should never be determined by how they act when they're looking at their deck. Yes. It should always be an analysis of the cards they're revealing to you and the cards that are in their graveyard banished and what you can guess they have in their hand. Or what you can read that they have in their hand, not guess, because that doesn't make any sense. But yes. It should never be, Im like, you should never have, like, an emotional response to pantheism where, like, wow, he was really nervous when he was looking <laughs> for his thing, so we have to give him this. Like, that should never happen. You should always do it logically based on what they show and, and what they've already used. So, I, so uh, let me, let me, uh, let me help you out there a little. I'll, I'll argue that using, emo like, especially if it's a bad player, like, using emotion can, like, a as a uh, reference can be useful, but it should never like. It should never contradict any logical yeah, choice. Yeah, sure. You have. There you go. Sure, 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 sure. 
So, yeah, so it should never change your answer from what it would have been logically. Um, and so it can give you that slight edge against bad players, That's but fine. like in, in, in a vacuum of such as the player I, championship, you'll never get the card. You, like Hollywooding doesn't mean anything. Yeah. It's so. So, I will. I think I will depend upon that. Where, like, like if you can if you can think of something like like logically, I should give them this. You you should never second guess yourself because yeah. of how nervous they may have looked yes. presenting their deck. Like that that should never. And you should always be able to logically. And you figure should, out and, and you should add. almost always be able, unless the like, <laughs> like I'm gonna say, you should be able to logically figure it out, unless like there are times where, if like there are times, I think the 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 only really like quote unquote like skillful way to fool somebody with pantheism is to reveal three different yes. cards that have totally different functions, yes. so they do not have a read on anything. Like you can reveal like prime domain escalation. And if my opponent revealed that to me in almost any game state, I I would be like, well, that's weird. Yeah. Like, I think I think that's the only way you can really throw them off when you just reveal I three different know. cards that don't have any that that don't like that yeah. are just totally different, and they just have to be like, well, uh, I guess that one, <laughs> and that. But and those are really that, the only three as well. Yeah. Like those are the only yeah. three. Like 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 yeah. if you change any one of those three for like Stormforth or like Return, you give them that. Yeah. Well. Sure. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Unless you know it's in the graveyard. Unless you, their two storms in the grave, yeah. yes. But yeah, yeah. I think it's yeah. I think like 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 late game. If I if somebody revealed to me like like escalation, escalation domain prime, like that'd be a really weird one to figure out just because they're so like odd. <laughs> but but those cases are very rare because people don't usually try to do that. They'll usually try to fool you based on different types of like reveals, but. Okay, so here we've seen um, Ben opens yeah. his substantially stronger so, than Chris once again. No, I mean Chris opened Chris opened Aether Stormforth this time, but Garnet. But Ben is going to follow that up with his own Aether Stormforth, or but Ben is going to answer that with his own Aether Stormforth. Ben was able to resolve Brilliant Fusion on top yes. of. Uh, he was able to resolve Brilliant Fusion, but but Chris uh, Stormforth the Seraph Knight before Ben could summon anything, so up, ben? ben will not get the additional summon, and Ben is going to interesting end his turn here, I believe. Huh. It looks like they both drew Garnet. Huh? So they both drew Garnets. That's did what they? you get for playing two. Did they both draw? They did. Okay. Yes, they did both draw one. This is, is going good for Durandal. This is to good. Shuffle the hand. Yeah, well, so he, so he can Durandal play to shuffle Ben's hand. Yeah, it's a nice um, play. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, in case uh, Ben goes for some. Well, when Ben goes for Aether, uh, Chris will shuffle their hands, and he just kind of has to hope Ben. And he'll subsequently also be able to play. What? Yeah, and Chris will also make himself able to play because right now he yes, can't really play. Yes, because his his hand yeah. looks very. This is uh, this is such <laughs> a swing. Like yeah. this is so good. Yeah. <laughs> Chris is smiling. <laughs> Chris is happy about it. <laughs> Some more resolves. Okay. Sure. But yeah, yeah, you're right. He's, he will make himself. Uh, this hmm. is great. Yeah, that's a good play. I like that a lot. Um, yeah. Yep. So he now he's gonna get two monarch summons. So this is so good. I think. Okay, that was he played a little bit fast there, but I think. I don't think Ben was gonna. Respond. I think Ben was supposed to use his his aether there. No. Because that would make because Chris would be unable to use the extra deck. So if he set his Bright Fusion and then shuffled back his, um, or because he used Ida's, he'd be oh unable yeah, to use nice. the extract for the for the rest of the turn. So if he set Brilliant Fusion and then shuffled back the Garnet, he'd be unable to activate it this turn. And um, and shuffling his own hand. So if Ben used Aether, Chris would then be forced to shuffle his own hand, which maybe Chris wouldn't draw any Monarchs. Yeah. So, um. Ben let the Erebus res Ben's letting the Erebus resolve. This is crazy. Um, I don't know if Chris has any other monarchs in his hand. I can't really tell. So if Chris hit the Aether, then he won't even need to use Durandal. So he basically just gave himself two chances. I think he still to wants like to. Hmm? I think he still wants to. 
He's what? He wants to, though. Like, he wants to the Garnet back. Garnet sucks. Yeah, but he didn't set his b brilliant yet. Which, I don't know why he hasn't set his brilliant yet. If he intends to, at some point, shuffle hands, I don't know why he hasn't set brilliant. Maybe so far ahead he doesn't really need to resolve another brilliant fusion. That could be true. Yep. So Maybe like he you don't want to risk just having a break hand. You just want to draw six fresh cards instead of yeah, five. Yeah, that could be true as well. Yep, that's definitely a possibility. So, at this point... Okay, uh, at this oh, point he doesn't okay. care. Or he... Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm really confused, like, what uh, just happened. Well, when you just tribute something three times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he has six months. I understand that, but... Oh, yeah. I mean, that's not what I was like. I was uh, confused why, like, Garnet, like, hit the table and then, like, came back. This is over. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure Chris wins this. That's pretty good. Um, The only way I think Chris can win it is if... When Ben activates Aether, Chris shuffles hands. Ben has to draw another Aether. Yeah. Uh, or that. Or that can happen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, never. Yeah, I didn't see that coming oh, either. Oh, no. <laughs> that could definitely happen as well. Huh. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, I lost. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Wait, so that just meant... I don't know. That just meant that Erebus could have hit either Valor or Aether. Yeah. Yeah, and th that's sick. Or maybe, or maybe he had two veilers. I didn't. I, don't I couldn't know. really see. I don't know why. That was sick. You had to get really lucky. That there. was pretty sick. Yeah. I actually can't believe. I'm it. not sure who had to get lucky. <laughs> like, like I'm not mm. sure. Like I'm not sure whose favor that was in. Jesus. Like just, just based on. I guess it was if okay if Ben if Ben only had one veiler and only had one aether then it was well. Yeah, if Ben only had one of each, then it was a literal 50-50, because there were four cards in his hand. Chris had to hit either Valor or, or Aether. If Ben had two of either one, then it, then it didn't matter. Oh. Ben Ben was winning That's that crazy. exchange. That's regardless. crazy. Yeah. Oh, well, here we go. So he's crashing. This is going to hurt a lot, and he's, he still has Darndall yeah, control. He's, uh, he's cashing in his Monarchs. Yeah. That's nice. Chris still up infinite, but uh, that huh? was... Chris still up infinite, but that was nice. Yeah. And he has a way to add back. Yeah, because um, Chris is still in a good position because Durendal can definitely yeah, put it uh, work. Just mess like, with something yeah. on Ben's turn. It can negate like a tenacity or a panthe. Well, not negate, but it can. It well, it can essentially this negate a, a uh, tenacity or a uh, pantheism. He's thinking about setting storm for here. I don't think you can. Uh, why would you not chance? Oh, does he not have aether? Oh no, I'm pretty sure this aether is probably 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 coming back to his hand in, in the yes. end phase. That I mean, like I would hope. Oh, that, that this would, one? would. I hope like that's how. Oh, how if, that's, he if made that happens, the then yeah, it's over. Yeah, I I hope that's how he made the attacks. Um, then unless he didn't. Oh, okay. What? So. Yeah, okay. he just okay. So he traded. He attacked with one of the aether with the aether that that was going to come back to his hand. Sure. Which I'm not sh Okay. I mean, he knows he has one. There's a certain point where you have to stick your fodder in the mirror because you start running out. You to what? You have to stick your monarchs and, like, ride them. And I don't think he's there yet because Ben has so much resources. I don't left, think he's but, there yet. But only Chris is running out of resources. I don't think he's so. there yet only because he has Prime. Oh, you, you don't think Ben's there yet? But you think Chris is? Well, because Chris has Prime, he's putting. He just put back, like, two monarch spells. Yeah, it's nice. Um, I don't know if. I actually don't know if. How many big monarchs Chris has left in his deck? Like, I think yeah. he might have an Erebus left. I don't. I don't. I think he's used all three. But Aethers I mean, he's like going to get Aether to hand here, obviously. But uh, yeah, I don't think he is though. I Why? mean, he just discards one for he Erebus. Didn't, he, he didn't set Stormforth. Yeah, but because he had to discard one for Erebus, and he needs Stormforth in his hand. What I'm saying is, uh, what he could have done, which plus he still has Durandal. Like he has I know, a lot. I know he still has Durandal. Yeah. Like D Durandal will probably change a lot of. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how this how this turn will play out with with um, I don't so know what's in Ben's so hand. So what what he's supposed to do is um, is activate Erebus and chain Durandal, but I don't think he did that, which is fine. What do you mean activate what? Activate Erebus oh, and chain to, Durandal to get something back to get Aether Durandal? back and chain Durandal. Yeah, but sure. I like that happen. play a lot. That's a play. Yeah, I've done that play a lot. It's 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 a way to like. I, get to I think there was no way to. See, Ben only has like a two in hand, so like yeah, you know he's going I, for something, and you, you want to restrict. You want to restrict. I think I like, like missed something in this game where Ben is Ben has like not many cards, yeah. <laughs> and like I'm not sure how that happened. Like, well, he lost a Valor. He lost a card in his hand. Oh yeah, yeah, He lost the yeah. card he tributes something. You're right. He just you're right. He did. Over. He did. Um, he he got Erebus one of his hand, and then I think I, I I didn't think about the Valor. That yeah, that was literally just like he discarded a card. Um, so he has. Ooh, here we go. Much. Oh, okay. so he should give him that? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. I mean, this that was a decision I don't think mattered that much. Uh, 
It definitely did. Huh? It definitely did. Or it definitely could have. Yeah, it could have, but it, like... <gasps> I think Ben has a lot of... Uh, ben has, a, has has enough spells in his graveyard where where I... Uh, okay, so I think the reason you give Tenacity there instead of Escalation, where Ben already has, like, I think just from fanning out his grave, he already has, like, four spells in his grave already, or, like, five that he doesn't mind banishing. Um, so giving him Tenacity and making him lose Tenacity mm -hmm. puts more in grave, uh, so he has more, like, prime fodder, but he already has so much of that that doesn't actually yes. matter. You want to just take spells out of his deck. It was so you want to give him play. tenacity, which I think Ben is uh, conceding because yeah, he does not, Chris especially out of, out of like, resources. That was nice. Well, we're going to see a game three. Yeah. Yes, we are. Uh, 9.50 on the clock. So hopefully we're going to see this to conclusion. Hmm. Well, anything else you want to talk about <laughs> in the monarch in the monarch matchup? Uh, <laughs> um, while we're waiting here. So I played monarchs for the last couple events. Uh, you played it for one event. <laughs> Topped. Top. Same, I guess. Um, monarch is actually one of the decks that I don't think has changed as much as the other ones. This format. It's literally the same deck. I think the pendulum deck has gone through a lot of change. Uh, Cosmos seen like four different variants, or like forty thousand different variants of that are like nothing alike. B is the most uh, versatile deck of all time. B, <laughs> B. What? Round two. Wait, what about me? Is round two happening right now? Oh, okay. 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 Wait. So I don't. So my. So I don't play until round three then. Okay. What the? All right. The head judge just informed me that my round two opponent has scooped for reasons unknown to go smoke a cigarette. I guess. <laughs> so I will. I guess still be here for round two. That's a long cigarette. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that was. That was an interesting. I don't think that's. That gonna, I don't think it's gonna hold up. I don't think. You don't think it's gonna hold up. I don't think. I think I you're mean, gonna get to your table and you're gonna have to the play. The head judge just came over and told me I won round two. So. Um, interesting. This was free. Anyway, so that was interesting. That was a fun distraction for Good the. Luck. So uh, we do not have their deck list uh, because that would be kind of unfair if yeah. if we got to look at their deck list because we are also competing in the same event. Wow, well, um, so I couldn't. We can't really talk about what they're. Better is one's over. Uh, yeah, Chris cited in chaos trap pulls. He's going second. It's correct. I like it. I think it's correct too. Um, it's just unfortunate that he drew two of them going second. That is, that was just like un unfortunate. It's very um, fortunate. It's good. Like he can win if he can establish a board. Which looks like he can. He uh, definitely. He just needs a monarch. His hand looks pretty good. His hand's if great, he, but Ben opened the nut. I don't so know what the last lose. part is. Like, have you ever played D draw malicious okay. and lost? What is the monster in his hand, though? Uh, like, I can't maybe see Garnet. Probably. What? Just give us statistics. It might, it might be Garnet. Okay. Um, his hand was, I believe, uh, return. It looks like a Garnet. It's double caster. I pull return brilliant, and then a monster. But I don't know what monster it is. If it's a monarch, then his hand is a okay. Nut. If it's oh. not a monarch, he wins. Yep, he wins. He wins. His hand is pretty good. Uh, wait, no, because they play Garnet. They don't play Jack's Knight. Right. So you can't he play. Can't <laughs> <laughs> he can't play. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well. <laughs> um, what a turn of events. Also, what? What, a, what an interesting... What an, what an the, interesting swings. <laughs> the swings. The swings. The swings. <laughs> His hand didn't change, but... <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Okay. So Chris has to draw... So Ben has some fourth aether. So okay, Ben. Why? Ben, ben is. Uh, ben. Ben is, wins. Yeah. Not ben only wins. does he win, but uh, <laughs> yeah. he wins. Okay. So Ben wins. It looks like yes. right now. <laughs> I could have told a, you that for the first. That was a pretty big swing. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so now wow, Ben gets two he, ooh, he forgot the optional this effect. turn, oh, he's and then still, he right. he chain prime in his graveyard to banish uh, tenacity. So a day that he discarded gets to add back tenacity instead of the pantheism because I guess he would rather have a tenacity for next turn than a pantheism, that cute. which I agree with completely. Uh, if his hand is good, which it looks to be pretty good, because he has aether and, he's, and he has returns, so he's searching Erebus. This like, is about to be a plus seven this right is, here. Yeah, he's about to. He's about to plus literally seven. Add one. I don't think there are this is many insane. ways, if any, that Chris wins this game right now. Uh, if Chris went first, even I will. If Chris went first, then he had double chaos trap pull, which would like I guess maybe would have been enough to see. He, he could draw Stormforth, tribute one, and then bounce the other and set double and hope. Hmm? What Stormforth could win the game? If what happens? 
If, 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 if Chris he, draws one for it. If he has to lose either Brilliant here or uh, yeah. Return. I did not see what he lost. He has I, to lose Brilliant or Return. I think he lost a spell, so I okay, think so he, he might wins. be right. Can you yeah, Stormforth? That if he draws Stormforth, he's in a very good spot. I actually think it's an auto-win. You think it's an auto-win? Yeah. Um, I'm not as sure as you. Yeah, he lost a spell. So he still has... Okay, so he lost Return. So Chris is actually... Um, he like, needs to draw that card, but he, he wins. If Chris just draws something that lets him summon Erebus, so he can just break Ben's board, um, then double cast trap hole, trap hole might be able oh, to... Oh, Ben has one as well. But Ben has... A, no, Ben has a storm forth. Okay, well, Chris lost. Yeah, it's over. Uh, concede. Yeah, Chris can't play. All right, well, Can't play. Yeah, Chris can't nice play. Nice tag. Okay, yeah. All right, so uh, <laughs> that was free. Um, yeah. Any closing remarks? Um, no, that was like... Uh, those are some pretty... Like, the first two games, I don't think there was like... Obviously, it was unfortunate that the third game was like can't play and lost yeah. um, but I believe the first two were pretty like pretty back and forth they were not bad.